All right, guys, so we're back at school. We're at in-person learning. So for our coil pots, I want to show you guys how to use the extruders to make your coils. That way you don't have to roll them by hand. So what you're going to do is start off with a nice block of clay that you've wedged. You pat it into a nice little cube shape like what I have here. These are the extruders. They're kind of like a grown-up Play-Doh machine. Um, they've got templates or dies on them. You can change them out. And what you're going to do is put your clay inside and squirt out your coils. So I've got them set up where we want them with the right size coil. So what you're going to do to start with is go ahead and raise the arm and go ahead and pull the plunger out. Okay. Look down inside. Make sure that nobody has left any dried up or any clay in there to dry up and clog the extruder. Then you're going to take your piece of clay that you've wedged really well and you're going to go ahead and put it down inside the chamber. Um, you don't have to fill the chamber up completely, just for however many coils you think you're going to need that day or that period. You're going to lift the arm and put the plunger back down inside. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and use your body weight to press down on this and it will squirt out a coil. Now don't make them too long. What I like to do is get a spare clay bag, lay it on a board, and then go ahead and make my coils only the length of a bag, maybe a little bit shorter. That way, if I have any leftover at the end of the period or the end of the day, I can go ahead and wrap them up, um, give them a spray of water, and hopefully they'll stay moist for me to use the next day. So, when you go to use this, just put your hand here to brace yourself, and you can put your other hand down below, and then just lean into it with your body weight. And if your clay is nice and soft, you shouldn't have any problem squirting out your coils. Now, if you use dry, hard clay, you're gonna find this becomes extremely hard to squirt out the coil. So make sure you're always using nice, moist clay. Make sure you wedge it so it's all the same consistency. And then you shouldn't have any problem squirting out the clay. And I'll just squirt these out here real quick. Now, if you find that this is difficult for you, and what you can do is not put as much clay in so that the handle stays lower. And what you can do is use leg strength instead of your body weight. So you can put your hand here to support yourself. You can put your foot up on the arm and you can just use your leg strength and press with your leg. Sometimes I find that to be a little bit easier. So again, just use your leg strength. But really the key is having nice soft clay to start with. right under the flight path and you can hear the planes going over this morning and now you can hear somebody doing their yard work. Okay, so once you reach the bottom and they're all squirt out and you don't have any more clay left, go ahead and pull the plunger up. And what you're going to see is because this one's a little bit older, clay squirts out of the top of it. So take off your excess clay, we can use that again, and then pull the plunger arm out. Now, the plunger arm does not go to the very bottom, so you're always going to find some of your clay stuck to this. So go ahead and just give it a little twist and slide it off of there. Clean out any extra clay that's inside as best you can so it doesn't dry up and it doesn't clog the machine. Then lift this up and put the plunger back inside and lower it down. That will help keep some of the air out of there so that if there's any leftover clay, it doesn't dry up. So then, like I say, at the end of the day, what I'll do if I have any coils left is I'll just wrap my bag over them and I'll go ahead and tuck in the ends so that the clay doesn't dry out. And then I'll have my coils to use um, the next day as well. So pretty simple. Um, hopefully you don't have any problems. If you find this too difficult or you need help, make sure you come and get me in class so I can go ahead and come out and help you. Again, number one thing, make sure you're using really nice, soft, moist clay. All right? Have a great day. See you in the next one.